Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. And today I am up to putting an antenna up into this tall tree. I've been using a vertical here lately, but I want another antenna. So I went by Lowe's. I found this insulator that's meant to uh, go around a fence post. In another L in Lowe's, I found this Velcro strap with a carabiner. Looking through those handy dandy drawers that is in every hardware store, I found this spring. It's strong, but springy. And you could use uh, any zip tie you want, but these seem like heavy duty, and I think they're also reusable. Use any matching unit you like, and hopefully it's one that's homemade and some wire you picked up from the local hardware store. Here, as well as that spring that I just showed you, I found some marine grade elastic cord. And here's the 550 cord that I'm going to be using to attach the antenna to the tree through the spring and the strap. So I take that insulator and I attach it to the pipe rail fence and you see it's easy to attach. You can see the slit that the bolt slides through and later on you're going to see that I'm going to actually attach it to the top rail and experiment with both. Here I show you the use of the zip tie that I'm going to use to attach the matching unit to the insulator for a quick easy on and off. There at the bottom of the screen you can see my Arborist throw bag and the tree in front of me. We're going to be using an uh, under the leg, between the legs throw today to get that uh, line into the tree. Uh, a previous video I talk about the equipment that I'm using. So through the legs and up and over and the line just feeds right out of the bag. There's me going out there with the 550 cord. In this case I'm going to attach the 550 cord the line on this side and pull it through. There's plenty of line in that arborist throw bag. Yes, I'm going to have to um, reel it back in. Here me, I'm pulling it up and of course there's the rat's nest. I'm going to have to go and unsnag that. But when it's wound properly in the first place, it's not really that difficult. It only takes me a minute or two and I'm able to get that line all set to go. So I'm going to pull the side of the line that I've thrown over, and different people like different techniques. Um, there can always be a debate, but in this case, I didn't really have room on the other side to throw the line. So now it's time to cut my line and uh, tie my antenna, but I've forgotten my pocket knife. And my dad said, uh, men don't leave home without their pocket knife. He was born in 1909, so he had a different philosophy on uh, making sure you had your tools. So here I pick it up. The line that the 550 cord cut off the residual that I don't need, and I'm able to tie the antenna to the end that's on this side. Quick trip back over to the side that was thrown, and you can see I can, I'll start to pull that antenna up and you'll see it on the left side of the camera. Next video I'll show you guys how I use that spring and that strap to attach that line to the tree so the wind doesn't break it. Thanks for stopping by guys.